Hi, welcome to another house into home video, but not just any house into home video, a very special house into home video. We have partnered with Lowe's for this episode. Yay, us! Um, we have an awesome outdoor space that Lowe's helped us create, and I think you guys are really gonna enjoy it. I can't wait to get out there myself and just relax on the dock, have fun, maybe a little, maybe a cold one or two. I don't drink, so it's gonna have to be chocolate milk. And you guys get an update on all the tile work that's been going on inside the house. Plus, Kristen has been working on a little corner unit and uh, it's showing some uh, pretty good progress. Hope you guys enjoy the episode. See you at the end. <laughs> Bubba! Bubba! Hey there, handsome fella. So as part of the uh, partnership with Lowe's, I wanted to do a little bit of a DIY with the spray paint. I love terrac terracotta pots. I, li I like the shape of them. I like that they have the cute matching, um, I don't even know what you guys would ca call these, saucers or plates. But the color of them, I don't, I like to have a variety. I don't want everything to be the exact same color. So I've gotten different sizes. I have an even bigger one than this, which I do want to spray paint white, but I'm going to go with that one last because I've never done it before. So I don't know how it's going to hold on the pot. So I'm going to start with, I think, I'm going to feel risky. I'm going to go with the medium size one that I've got first. I'm going to start with the gray spray paint. And the thing is, is like, when you're shopping for flower pots, whether it be indoor or outdoor, I do find that they can get a little bit pricey. And this is a good way of kind of keeping your budget a little bit lower, but doing a DIY so you're making it to your own liking. There are tons of spray paint colors, which are also inexpensive because it's going to be more than a one-time use. There was a gorgeous pink that Lowe's was carrying and it's like a stunning like a pastel pink and I've seen this color everywhere right now on Instagram. I hesitated, I didn't get it because I did want to go with the white and the gray and just try that out and see how it kind of settles on the pot. And then going from there I'll probably end up racing back over to, <laughs> to Lowe's to grab it because it is a new color. Alright, let's get started and see what happens. And I am doing it on this board because I don't want to stain the grass. I think Dan might have a bit of a fit. <laughs> so the surface is pretty clean. Oh no, I'm dripping. So as you're spraying it, make sure that you keep it far enough away that you're not getting paint drops accumulating, okay guys? So what I'm going to do is just where the lip is, here, on the inside there's a bit of a dip. So when I put the plant in it, I'm going to bring the soil up to that lip. So I don't want the yellow exposed, or the um, orange exposed, so I'm going to spray paint the rim as well. I'm going to be going in with, the, with two coats on these. massive massive garden center so I mean it's really easy to get lost there guys and just grab a ton of stuff okay so I am noticing while I'm doing this is there's almost like cracks or like wrinkles I am kind of worried about how this is gonna dry I've never done this before but I mean I feel like it's pretty standard and I love DIY and usually things turn out okay for me, so fingers crossed. But what I also, what I love about the terracotta pot is that they've got the drainage underneath them. There is a pot that I did buy at Lowe's. It doesn't have the drainage, it's like absolutely stunning, it doesn't have the drainage. But that's okay because what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick rocks inside of it and then I'm going to keep the case that the plant actually came in which has drainage, so there's going to be drainage just inside, just to prevent any root rot. I don't know if I should do this on my hand. Oh no! So I'm noticing a lot of cracking going on, but I actually kind of like it because it's giving it a rustic vibe. So 
So when I'm doing anything like this, you guys, or like creating a space, for me it's really all about the details. So I'm sure you might have bigger pieces, but when you focus on doing things like this yourself and making a space your own, it really creates a very cozy, fun dynamic that is kind of like putting your fingerprint on. So that's kind of what I'm doing here. Hopefully it looks good, <laughs> because otherwise I'm the only one to blame. <laughs> But I'm going to give this time to dry. I'm going to come back out and do a second coat. And then when that dry, dries, I'm going to go in with the matte color as well, just to really hold in those colors. So the pot has been spray painted and then I went over it with like a clear coat spray paint as well. It dried. I did the uh, spray paint yesterday and let that just kind of hang out overnight. And then I just put the dry coat on it this morning and uh, it's been out in the sun. So I feel like it's ready to pot the plant so I'm just gonna go ahead and do it. So I've gone ahead and picked up the Rust-Oleum chalked in linen white for the cabinet here. I have sanded it, I have, <clears throat> excuse me, I've stained it. Now I'm gonna go in with a paintbrush, do some linen white, and then I'm gonna do some distressing with some sandpaper. Originally I was gonna add a shellac before doing this step here just to ensure that there was no bleed through from like any of these knots in here. I'm going to skip that step. I'm going to jump in with the chalked paint. After everything dries, I'm going to go in with a polycrylic and I'm going to see what happens. Worst case scenario, it bleeds through, in which case I sand down and I go back over it and add the shellac so it doesn't come back through. But the best part is because this is going to be a distressed looking piece, it doesn't have to look perfect, which is going to allow me if there is that error. So I'm just gonna go in with the paintbrush. So the chalk paint is from Lowe's as well. Basically in the same aisle as where I got the spray paints. All right, so she's painted. I feel like I am noticing a little bit of bleed through from the knots in the wood. So I think what I'm going to have to do is when I'm sanding and distressing, I'm going to go over those spots a little bit more with the sandpaper and dab it with the shellac so it doesn't come through again. But moving forward, if I do a wood piece again, I will 100% shellac it first. So this is with the second coat of paint. For good measure, I think I'm gonna go in and do a third coat just to make sure that everything is covered even though I am gonna be distressing it. And now that this is done, let's head over and see what we've done with the dock and our new space from Lowe's. This was the space that we were able to create. So those are the terracotta pots that you guys saw me spray paint earlier, a little DIY project. The chairs are a wicker, extremely sturdy, and they come with the red cushions. I decided to throw a little cushion with some white and gray on it, just because that's mine and Dan's favorite color. Now the carpet, I don't know if you guys can see it super well. It is a whitewash, like gray white, and it is fuzzy. I was super lucky to be able to find a carpet that I love, because I love it when you feel like you're outside is still inside like it makes it that cozy warm feeling so the fibers on it don't stick up super far so it'll be very easy to clean like take a hose and spray wash it um, and this is a carpet that I guarantee you in the colder weather will probably bring it inside and use it to decorate the house these chairs as well because wicker is so in <laughs> I have a feeling we'll also be bringing these inside <laughs> because they are super comfortable. So as we were creating the space, for me it was really about all of the details. This little piece here is almost a lifesaver because the last time I had to put cutlery out, I ended up putting it in a little um, Tupperware container and not very cute. This holds, well, it holds um, spoons, forks, you've got the longer space for your knives. And you've got an extra spot, which I I would use for straws personally, because I love straws. And also because eco-friendly is important to me. These are all paper straws as well. Speaking of eco-friendly, Lowe's has a ton of eco-friendly products. So here's an eco-friendly product. It's a cleaning product and it's good for glass. It's not toxic and it's plant-based. Why that's so important for Dan and I is obviously living in the country. We want to be as nice to nature as possible. 
But when we're cleaning inside um, as well, wiping down counters and stuff like that with all of our pets, Sage likes to venture onto tabletops, even though he's not supposed to. So we want to make sure anything his little beans touch that end up in his mouth later isn't going to harm him. You want to go show the bathroom floor? You want to go show everybody the bathroom floor? No? No? Maybe later? All right, I'll do it without you. All right, so the downstairs bathroom just by our front door has been tiled finally. We haven't painted the walls and the lights are a little bit yellow. So you're not really getting the full effect of how the tile is gonna look. That's how it looks up next to the hardwood floor. If I get a little bit closer, you guys can see the grout. We decided not to go with the white because the tile is almost kind of like got a, um, a cream in it and we didn't wanna like amplify that by putting white in. Also gray is a little bit easier to clean. So I forget the name of the grout specifically, but it is a gray grout. A gray grout, say that five times fast. All right, so then for our second half bath, which is the bathroom that was just off of the garage, like the mudroom area, we've decided to do behind the toilet a um, accent wall to really open it up and kind of give it something different. Again, the walls aren't painted. The lighting is very yellow in here. Also, the walls are like a yellow too. But if I get closer, we did go with white grout just to keep it clean. The tile almost looks yellow because it's reflecting off of the walls right now. But we did this behind the vanity. So when you're also washing your hands in the mirror, this is what you see behind you. So it kind of gives a little bit of, it gives it a little bit of pizzazz and something extra and kind of opens up this space. So the kitchen is in no way finished. We still have to do our ceiling, do the pendant lights, the pot lights. But as of right now, we finally had the backsplash installed. So I'm standing back really far so you guys can kind of get that whole picture. I'm not sure if you can notice, but in the tile itself, it almost has a golden, it does have a charcoal gray, and then a little bit of silver. Those colors really complement the hood vent, which is uh, concrete, and it really ties in the floor as well. You'll notice that some of the tiles themselves, although they're the same, they are different, and that's because it is a real marble. Thank you so much, Lowe's Canada, for partnering with us on this very special episode of House Into Home. Look at all this wonderful stuff that we got. Um, I really appreciate you guys watching. Nighthawk appreciates you guys watching, aka Kristen. Please remember to subscribe to House Into Home if you haven't already. Click the notification button to be notified when we upload a video. Like the video if you enjoyed it. And follow us on Instagram for more updates that we sometimes don't even show on camera. Have a good one. Bye-bye.